Hey then everyone, another subject that really touch on, you ready? The deported roadman. Do you know how much people got deported because of the activities on the road? And this is what I never got, this is what I never got. Like I guess the first time when you see a couple of men, it makes you think like, nah, let me know. Bro, you ain't got a British passport and you want to be the big drug dealer. You ain't got a British passport, you know, going rob banks. Like, it's it's mad. And where is that? It's not even their fault sometimes, is the education wasn't there. Got a lot of people can go and do a crime, go to jail, get sentenced for a certain amount of time, you come out, got a chance to rehabilitate. But more times, if you don't got a British passport, if you're doing more than a year, you're gone. You're gone. I know people who are they're still trying to dip them now. Like they've been out of jail five, six, seven years, living a legitimate life, working. But the government, like, nah, we ain't forgot what you done. We ain't forgot what you done. And that's what it is as well, is that people are young and naive sometimes. You think, oh, my brother's doing that. But have you checked the status of your of your, your, of your of your stay? Because more times people don't even check the status of their stay. You go and do a, a road thing. Did you ask mum, before I go on this road thing, if I get nits, am I going to stay in UK? Because... More time, you don't even know your state. You don't know the states of your parents. Go and find out the states of your parents before you go and do your, 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 your madness. Because if you ain't got no state, your parents might be all right. Your parents might have their British state. But they even take away your indefinite stay now. So that man got indefinite stay, which means, yes, you, you got the right to remain in England. But that can be revoked at any time. This happens to so many regions. I've got so many people back home who've been dipped. The people that even introduced me to start doing security events, yeah? About four or five of them got, got dipped. One of my cousins is there. One of my brothers is there as well. So it's mad. Think wisely before you go and do a madness because they're not playing around. They're not playing. Normally it's meant to be for violence offences. Now it's even drug related offences. You go to jail for more than 12 months and you don't have British passport, you are a target. I've got so many versions are also trying to fight the system right now. One of them the other day just beat it. But even after they beat the case and not get deported, the government are like, no, <laughs> the government are still trying to do, they're trying to appeal it. Imagine that. The court of law said, no, 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 this guy has a right to remain over here. And the government said, no, 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 they're still trying to go for him. So it is mad. And what is as well is that I try to send whenever, whatever I can, whenever I can, right? And it's hard because I think a lot of people in Africa forget how hard it is over here as well. They're like, yo, I need this, I need that. But they're forgetting that, okay, you don't want to be like, you're trying to be a good friend. But you got bills to pay over here as well. You got council tax, you got your phone bill, you got kids' school fees, you got nursery fees. So when you got all these pressures that's happening over here, and then someone saying like, yo, yeah, and someone saying like, yo, I beg you, dude, this, I beg you that you're thinking, mate, I got priorities over here first, you know. And like it's bad, but there's like they're like the last option. And it's not it's it's, it's not that you're trying to do that harshly, but you got so much things going on over here yourself and so before you go and do a crime, yeah, don't even do crime in the first place. But before you go and do a crime, know the status of your stay in the UK. Hey, that rhymed, really. Know your stay of your status in the UK. Actually, no, the second part there. You know what I'm saying anyway. <laughs> but because, yeah, man, it's, it's, it's sad to see, man. And over there, and more times as well, the government don't even care that you got no family over there. Certain people, like one of my regions, they just basically took him to the airport and boom, you're free to go. He don't know no one from nowhere. He, he what, do you, what do you mean you're free to go? Go where? His family's all over here. He had to go, uh, like, manage to get someone to call his parents so they can find, get him to send money to get transport to the village that he was staying at, that he was raised in. And it's like, and now you're just there with people you don't even know. They're looking at you now and like... Ain't that the guy from Britain? And the, the worst thing about it is this as well, yeah? There's like a comedy skit, yeah? Of, there's one Congolese, uh, what do you call it, film, yeah? And basically, obviously when people go back to go back to Congo, like on holiday, you go you go there, you bring clothes for everyone, you, 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 you like, you, and people like, you're, you're the big man, you just come from, from the West, you come from the Western world, right? So <laughs> there's a brother, you got deported, but obviously there's the embarrassment and shame because... When people were asking him for money, when he was in the West, he went sending all money. He was proper stunting them, and now he's being deported, and he had to like play up as if, nah, nah, I'm just here on holiday." 
So the first week, everyone's just breading him and gassing him. And after a while, everyone's like clocking on like, wait a minute, how come mama's got no clothes and how come he's eating bread and water? <laughs> There's a thing in Congolese, they call it Maya Lobo, eating bread with water. So they start asking, mate, you come from the West, why are you eating uh, Maya Lobo? He's like, nah, I just want to taste the culture again, innit? <laughs> so that's a side story. But I'm just saying, it's that's how, that's how it really is. Once you get sent back over there, you got no pee, you got nothing. And I rate a couple of people who do go back and go and make, the, make, make something for themselves. It's hard, though. It's hard. And I wish everyone the best for a back home. If you're my bridging and from back in the day and I've not reached out and, like, life's going on sometimes, you know? And it's not that people, like... But when I was in jail, people, like... It's the same as being in jail. When you're in jail, you just get on with it, man. You just get on with it. So I will say, man, them, just keep trying to do what you're doing when you're, if you get sent back home. Like, there's so much opportunities in Africa right now. There's so much opportunities in Africa right now. Don't think being in the West is the end all and be all. There's so much opportunities in Africa. Network. Network. I'm looking to touch down to Africa soon and start doing business over there as well. So there's a chance to network and well, Africa's a market right now, yeah? For you to go and do something. So don't be disheartened if you've been deported. But I'm just saying, for you, if you don't want to get deported, man, they have to a lot of crime, you know? Man, they have to a lot of crime. Because, like, even, mate, even certain people got British passport. I've heard, I'm not sure how true this, but I'm saying, even certain people got uh, British passport, I've had their, their, what do you call it, status taken away. It's even happened to that, um, the girl who went and drained ISIS. And I feel kind of bad for her because, it's like obviously she's manipulated and so on, and obviously they're taking away status. Now she's she's stateless. That's mad. So people, just think twice. And parents, again, warn your kids, warn your kids, because you guys are going to get on with your lives when you're, you're sent, that's another added burden. Having to send them back money when they, when 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 you go back to when you have to um, when they go get shit back um, home. It's long. So people, yeah. Be easy, man. And there's certain people in jail right now sweating. There's certain people in jail now sweating, thinking, oh, fucking hell. Like, I remember uh, <laughs> my cousin, when we was in jail together, my Cody, they come and say, yeah, um, immigration. He's like, what? <laughs> but obviously, they sort everything out for him because they knew they found out later on that, yeah, now he's got his stay. But we're just sitting in the cell one day, like, boom, 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 and let us come through. Like, he's like, oh, immigration, like, yeah, uh, you got to meet with the immigration. So <laughs> he's like, what? <laughs> I was busting up at the time, though, but. Shit is real Shit is real So there's not only so It's like double punishment You go and do a crime You get punished By a guy into prison And when you get released from prison Sometimes they don't release you from prison Sometimes they just From prison Boom Straight back Sometimes they release you in prison Leave you outside for a while There's people have been outside For a little while And then all of a sudden Boom Go back And some people don't learn some people will get out and they're testing you Okay Let's see how you are going to be In the community Let's see how you're going to behave yourself and they're still doing menace and it's that pressure because normally when you're trying to deport you, they tell you you can't work, you can't get a job, you can't even volunteer. It's mad. So what, the, 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 the system's set for you to fuck up because they let you out of jail and they tell you, okay, your immigration status, we're reviewing it. But in the meantime, you can't work, you can't volunteer, you can't get a job, you can't get benefits, nothing. So what is a hungry man going to go and do? So it's mad. So man, them, just be mindful, man. Girls as well, be mindful, you go and do a madness. Whoosh, airplane.